Now, when you go to a restaurant and you see Cajun wings, it's normally this. A buffalo wing with Cajun spice sprinkled all over it. That's fine, but um... I'm a super saucy boy. I like my wings nice and wet. So I took the initiative and made my own Cajun wet wings. And yeah, I know this is a real wing while the other one was not. I'm not gonna waste food for some joke. What am I, a TikTok star? Now before we take care of the wings, let's take care of another equally important component, the dipping sauce. Now we can either go with ranch or blue cheese. But this is Cajun wings. We gotta go with a Cajun sauce, specifically remoulade sauce. And here's how you construct it. Okay, in a medium sized mixing bowl, let's go with one tablespoon of minced parsley. One and a half tablespoons of capers, minced and drained. One green onion, chopped. Two cloves of minced garlic. Quarter teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of paprika. One tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Fetch out any seeds you might get. Two tablespoons of brown mustard. One tablespoon of hot sauce. Two teaspoons of Worcester sauce. Notice how I did not intentionally mispronounce it for a cheap overused joke. Take note. And finally, let's top everything off with one cup of mayonnaise. All right, let's whisk everything together. All right, once everything's mixed together, transfer it to a separate Tupperware bowl. And uh, here's some more I made last week. And uh, let's put this in the fridge so the flavors get to know each other. Uh, let it rest for about an hour. In the meantime, actually we do need to take care of one last thing before we head to the chicken wings. We need to prepare the spice mix for our sauce. So to a small bowl, let's add three tablespoons of granulated onion, three tablespoons of granulated garlic, one tablespoon of paprika, a tablespoon and a half of oregano, two teaspoons of thyme, and three teaspoons of black pepper. Now, if you're of the Cajun persuasion, you may have noticed an important ingredient is missing. Cayenne pepper. Well, we don't need any cayenne pepper because the sauce we're going to be using, Frank's Red Hot, has plenty of cayenne. See, it says it right here. Cayenne pepper sauce. And if you want that authentic buffalo wing flavor, you have to use Frank's Red Hot. That's what the original recipe called for. That's what you got to use. Hey, CRJ coming to you from post-production. Uh, the sauce did not come out as Cajun-y as I expected. So just double the spice recipe amounts and that should solve the problem. Okay, no more fake outs. Let's take care of the chicken wings. Now I could do the lazy thing and buy the chicken wings already pre-cut, but meh, this is cheaper this way. Okay, so chicken wings have three parts. The drum, the flat, and the tip. Let's take care of the drum first. Just simply slice down until you hit the joint and just pop it off. Once you hear it snap, continue slicing. Get rid of any bone fragments that might cause a hindrance. Place these in a separate bowl and roughly the same thing. Snap it the other direction. Okay, expect the thing for any loose bones. There isn't any. Into the bowl. Now, this is left with our chicken tip. It's mostly collagen and bone. There really is no meat here. But don't throw this away. Saving these, you'll see these in a future episode. Once again, just trim down. 
pop open, cut away. Again, trim down, pop open, cut away. All right, with the meticulous cutting and deboning over, let's get to frying. I have here a Dutch oven filled halfway up with oil, set to 350 degrees. Are you known as the city of love? Despite the numerous amounts of dog poo in the streets, the very bad body odor of the locals, not to mention being prone to Rodney King level civil unrest at any given time. The number you're looking for is 175 degrees Celsius. And this is a bowl which will place our wings when they're done frying. Well, speaking of which, it already came up to 350. All right, so let's gently place in our wings. Cook until they're golden brown and delicious. Now some people prefer to bake the wings and that's fine. I guess, but I like to fry mine, and uh, I'll tell you why in a moment. Okay, our wings have floated to the top. They look pretty brown and golden to me. So let's transfer them to our bowl. And load in the next batch. All right, all of our wings are fried up, and that just leaves one thing left to do. The sauce. There's a reason why I wanted to make the sauce at the end. One, if I made the sauce too early, it would get all thickened up, then I have to reheat it again, and reheating homemade buffalo sauce causes a lot of oily separation. You do not want that. Second, I increase my watch time here on YouTube. Thanks for staying. Anyway, grab yourself a two-quart saucepan, like right here. Add two cups of the aforementioned Frank's Red Hot. Add in our spices from earlier. And put this over medium-high heat while whisking together. Okay, once it comes to a boil, Turn off the heat, and let's add in one cup or two sticks of unsalted butter. We need to emulsify it into the sauce. Keep stirring until they're fully melted. All right, the butter's fully melted. Let's add it to our wings. Oh, and a side note, the reason why I like to deep fry my wings is because they'll stay crispy even as I do all this. Now normally you toss the wings, but there's too many wings, there's too much sauce. I'm just gonna use a big ass spoon. Take your wing, dip it in the remoulade, and eat it. Man, I'm in the middle of a heat wave and I'm eating spicy food. I don't care. This shit is good. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Oh, and uh, between you and me, no, I haven't been to New Orleans yet. Sorry.